it's, uh, it's, it's me. It's Scarlet. It's been a while. I, I, I just got done with my winter term classes. I've actually got some time to record now, and you're going to see some things that aren't actually just Twitch live streams on the channel for a while. Let's play some Final Fantasy X. <laughs> Hi, brother. Riku, let's go. Oh, almost forgot. Yes, I'm are you gonna give me- Oh, we just started and you're gonna give me a freaking tutorial. I know how to use the freaking sphere grid. Uh, please, just, can I, can I skip? Can, can I, I- I'm clicking everything. I Apparently I took a picture or a video or something. But no, uh, P, PS share, go away. Uh, got some hot cocoa. Because it's freezing! We got snow, and there's like five inches of snow on the ground outside. And it hasn't actually rained on top of it, which is what usually happens in Portland. We usually will get, on the very, very, very rare occasion, it snows, because it only snows once every few years, and even then it's only a little bit. But even then, when we actually get, uh, like, three to five inches of snow, which is what we got, we'll usually get an, um, about an inch of ice on top of that, to the point where you'll see entire tree branches that are encased in what looks like glass? It's that kind of, um, ice where it just looks like glass. And it's really bad and really dangerous, but that hasn't happened yet! We still have powder snow, which is weird. And apparently it's gonna snow tomorrow, too. And I'm really hoping that I don't have to go to work. I know I'm going to, but it was not very busy today at work. So hopefully... I'm gonna have a good day at work tomorrow, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm just trying to figure out something to do to fill the time here, I'm just gonna... Sip my, sip my cocoa. Ah, I've made better. Is it just a mixed cocoa? I went to the corner store, got some hot cocoa the last time it snowed. It's not as good as my cocoa. Now I can make some cocoa. I can make some badass cocoa from scratch. Still can't skip any of this shit. Oh wait, what? We found some ancient oh, ruins right there. Oh, apparently I figured us. out how to skip it. It's not active now, but <laughs> there something. should still be some power left. Hi, Riku, your eyes look down really there and bizarre. Activate it. And then we should be able to salvage the big prize. Riku can't blink! Mm -hmm. Okay, in. let's get to work. Riku cannot Roger. blink. Bye, guys! <laughs> it's like Roger jumps off. He has no idea where he's going. Damn it, Titus. Mm. Okay. So, follow the chain. That's just how, yeah, you do it, even though we're facing the wrong direction. Okay. Hey, look! It's a chain that doesn't look like it's connected to anything, actually. I know it is. It's connected to the wall over there. It's an anchor. But it doesn't look like it's connected to anything. It legitimately looks like it stops a good couple feet before the end. Okay, I'm gonna kill this. And I'm gonna kill this. And it's dead now. I missed playing this. I've played a lot of Final Fantasy X 2 on here because I want to get a really good, robust, powerful save file if I ever decide to let's play it. <laughs> years and years down the line. Because I want to get through that game as quickly as possible when I do play it because I can snark the ever-loving hell out of Final Fantasy X 2. I'm so good at making fun of that game. But... Oh, right. Let's pop a save. But I also want to get through it as quickly as possible, because I have a very love-hate relationship with the sequel to this game. I very- It's kind of like my relationship with Square Enix in general. I love them, and I hate them. I want to- Is my microphone even plugged in right? Okay, it is. <laughs> that would have been really bad if my microphone wasn't plugged in. Professional Let's Players, guys. Professional Let's Players who don't upload a single video in like a month and a half that wasn't recorded on Twitch. Because I'm going to be a doctor and learning to be a doctor is really, really hard. As, you know, it, as, as I found out. Um, gotta, gotta, gotta do some scientific research and all that medical stuff. Learned all the bones in the body. You got 208, I believe. 208 bones in your body. Well, an adult body. I mean, there's there's fluctuations. Some people only have 
five lumbar vertebrae, some only have, some have seven, and I have known if you give a shit. Okay. <laughs> Tito, t yeah, just, just stab him, Tito. Just do it. <laughs> it's fine. Just kill everything. Kill everything, we gotta go find Yuna. Oh, that's some good hot cocoa. Still not as good as my hot cocoa from scratch, though. Mostly because I made this with water and not milk. Tito! God, man. Look at that butt. It's a nice butt. Start punching the air while the water. Like, he's not even punching the pillar. He's just rocking out in the just in the water, not even touching it, and now it works. Because science. Because that's how it works in Final Fantasy Land, and now the water is made of blood. Well, I guess uh, Tita's decided, you know, that Riku needed a little bit of Aerith action. Or not, because she's right there. And it's probably just the lights. Huh. Demon! Uh oh. Riku, watch out! Tentacles! I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Ooh, I like the music. Hold on. Turn it up a little bit, because it's very quiet for me. Do I have a grenade? I do have a grenade! And now we gotta go, oh no! It's going to headbutt Riku! Or tentacle her. Or Titus, I mean, equal opportunity tentacle monster. <laughs> I just realized what I just said. Okay. Um. Equal opportunity tentacle monster. That hurt. I've got a potion since we don't have Yuna yet, and she's the one who. Wait, no, I'm running the expert spear grid, so Yuna doesn't necessarily have Cure to start off with. Um. Murder down. Oh, I probably should have used another grenade. It's not like I'm paying attention because I got hot cocoa. Riku, why do you suck so much? <laughs> You're supposed to be a thief. You, you can't steal. At least not very effectively. Okay, let's pincer that. Gotta come at the tentacle monster from both sides. More grenades? Riku! Great, now Titus is getting tentacled. <laughs> Those aren't actually tentacles. I don't think. If, if it's an octopus, they're not actually tentacles, they're arms. Like the ones that have um, suckers all the way down on one side of them, like you see on an octopus. Those are not tentacles. Those are actually just arms. Like, when it said tentacle right there, it was lying to you. Every time that you've seen a tentacle and it's had a bunch of suckers on one side of it, that's not a tentacle, that's an arm. Octopuses have eight arms. They don't have eight tentacles. A tentacle is like a little squid appendage. Um, like the smooth one-ish kind of thing, or it has like suckers all the way around it or something. That's a tentacle. Well, this thing has eight tentacles. It, well, if they have suckers on the inside of the arm, but... So yeah, the more you know. Uh, octopi do not actually have tentacles. They have arms. Stop using your not tentacles on Riku. You need to take her out for dinner first. She's still failing at stealing everything. Kill it, please. Riku, can you... Okay, for a second I was like, please don't die, Riku. <laughs> I kind of need you to keep trying to steal things. Ugh. Riku, why do you suck so bad? Is he dead yet? 
Koi is now that pays attention to Tita's. There we go. <laughs> Succeeded to steal a grenade for once. Ah, screw it. Just tack. Just, just kill it, please. Boom! And it's a dead tentacle monster that doesn't have tentacles, because it has arms, not tentacles. You know, because all of the bodies in Final Fantasy X always turn into pyreflies, what do they bury? Or do they bury anything? Because you never see graves, like grave. Well, you see a little bit of like something that is kind of like a grave during Operation Meehan. Spoilers, you'll figure it out. Um, but still, like you never actually see a dead body. Even Seymour just gets his body taken away. You don't see what happens to it. Doesn't, and you know Seymour turns into an. I'm, I'm just gonna shut up because, you know, spoilers. What I mean to say is you never actually see a body get, like, cremated or buried, I don't think, except one possible exception. But even then, you don't know if they're actual bot or... I'm just gonna shut up. <laughs> I keep trying not to spoil it, but this game is like... How the hell did this game come out? Can't, uh, what am I doing? Hey, look! It's totally not an airship! 2001 to 2004, so it came out about 2001? Oh my god, this game is 15 years old, um... <laughs> this game is 15 years old and it came out when I was 9. Oh, I feel old. Okay. Even though I turn 25 next month. Hey look, it's totally not an airship. Totally not gonna come back later. been underwater for a thousand years. How in the world could it still be useful? Because just think, the Titanic um, sank in like, what, 1912? 1914? I, I want to say it's 1912 though. Um, so the Titanic sank, right? And by the time they found it, it was oxidized, it was like falling apart, despite the fact it was in two pieces. <gasps> but it's falling apart even more now, like they can't even raise pieces of it. Or it'll just disintegrate. That thing's been down there for ostensibly about a thousand years, you know, since the fall of Xanarchy. That's not how that's not how science works. I need to find a save that has all of the Albed primers so you guys can understand this case. You know. I don't have the Albed primers because I can't find my PlayStation one. Hey! Hey, I helped out, didn't I? Yeah, but you don't speak Albed, so. And everybody in this game is racist. Ugh, hungry. Deal with it, James Taylor. Uh, That's the voice actor. Mmm, uh, uh, that pixelated right food. <laughs> Titus, you are wearing leather gloves? Just, like, picture taking your hand and just digging it into meatballs. <laughs> That's what he's doing. Hey! Titus, you're dumb. <laughs> so dumb. It's because you eat too fast. No, it's because he's dumb. And he eats too fast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can hey. actually see his leg through his pant leg in uh, this one. You couldn't in the original. Hello there. What is your name? Riku. Girl who doesn't blink. Oh, you really do understand. Close your mouth, Tita. The fly is gonna uh, just fly right in there. Didn't you say so earlier? I didn't get a chance to. Everyone thought we were a fiend. Everyone thought, yes, we're a fiend. Uh, we? Oh, we means you. 
Um... <sighs> Who are you guys, anyway? Seeing this HD version... Bed. Can't you tell? ...is making me realize just how badly the lip-syncing is. You're not an Albed hater, are you? Just look at their I lips. I don't even know what an Albed is. Shot. Where are you from? Xanarkin. I'm a Blitzball player. <clears throat> Star player of the Xanarkin Abes. Did you hit your head or something? And then everybody starts freaking out, like usual. Um, you guys hit me? Oh, three, right. Three times? Do you remember three anything times? before that? So I told her everything there was to tell about Xanarkin. About life there, Blitzball, and Sin's attack. And about how Aaron and I were engulfed in this light. I just said things as they came to mind. But then I started to wonder. Yes. Did I say something funny? And suddenly the polygons of Titus's face you gone away. Sin. Don't worry, you'll be better in no time. They say your head gets funny when Sin is near. Maybe you just had some kind of dream? I don't think he's- You mean I'm sick? Your entire because life is a dream. Toxin. Yeah. You sure? Yeah, there is no Xanarkand anymore. Sin destroyed it a thousand years ago. So, no one plays Blitzball there. <laughs> wait, huh? what? He's like, wait, what? Wha wha what do you mean, a thousand years ago? But I saw Sin attack Xanarkin. You're saying that happened a thousand years ago? No way! Why does it bug me so much that they keep switching between the high-res, like, awesome face texture to the really low-res texturing on their, um, character models? It just bugs me and I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so we're good. Um... Titus, you're gonna go. Water? Why would that be? That's a silly place to put all this. Um, dark attack. Silence attack. Okay, that's the walker route. This is where go. Guard. Magic break. Ooh. That's the standard Titus route is over here. What? Yes, let's go teach Titus Heiska. Um, where am I going? Oh god. I have never done the expert sphere grid before. Okay, so this is Titus' standard path. Okay, let's might as well throw him across here because cheer is a fairly good ability for him to have. Learn the things, learn the things. Do I not have a defense one? Son of a monkey's uncle. Okay. Riku! You said... I did say. You play Blitzball? Well, uh -huh. I mean, intro cutscene and all. You know, you should go to Luca. Someone might know who you are, or you might find someone you recognize. Luca? Uh... Huh. <laughs> What's a Luca? Sounds like Luca. I can't stop staring at Riku's butt. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get you to Luca. I don't Promise. know if it's the coloring of the jumpsuit or if it's just the thong. You'd rather stay here? Uh-uh. Okay, I'll go tell the others. Wait here. Oh. And one thing. Don't tell anyone you're from Xanarkand, okay? Yevon says it's a holy place. You might upset someone. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs>
My Xanarkin? There we go. <laughs> no, Some kind say. of holy place? Taking a little while to load there, game. Yeah, right, I thought. Since when? Since a thousand years ago, evidently. Yevon? Sin? Luca? I thought Sin just took me to a faraway place that I could go back in a day or two. But a thousand years into the future? Yep. No way! How did he not fall off there? Because he was definitely, like, his momentum definitely should have sent him, you know, rolling some more. Uh oh. Shin! Shinnik Musa! Etonic! Etonic! I don't speak your crazy moon language! This has been Y'all Get Rex. Ah! Bye, Jesus. And they're just like, well, bye, Jesus. They don't even try to find him. At least, at least it doesn't show or say anything about them trying to find him. It's just like, bye, Jesus. <laughs> See you later, Jesus. Bye. Oh, God, it's been... Two, over two months since I've played this game. Okay. That's what I get for taking classes and going to college and stuff. Yeah, no, he's dead. Unless Sin deposited him right there, in which case Besaid would be freaking out right now. He is very dead because he has been under that water for a long time. He is very Rachel. drowned. Did his mouth even move? <laughs> Sup? Blitzball! The high res, hey, um, okay? like polygon character models are so pretty. Hey! Like, Tidus is right here. They're actually really good. Which is why the low-res ones bug me so much. Especially when you put them right next to each other. Also, they did a really good job on cleaning up the FMVs. <laughs> then again, Waka just always looks just derp-faced, no matter what you do, so... Wait a minute. I gotta go get something. Be right back, Waka. This is very important. Cause I knew it was over here. Gimme. So we are about an hour and a half into this game and I've already gotten one part of Yuna's ultimate weapon. That is not gonna be completed until damn near the end. Okay. Hi Waka. Yo. Hiya. Wanna try that move one more time. Okay, I take it back. There's Finally. something really creepy in Walker's face right now. Up. I don't know what it is. I think it's something to do with his mouth or his teeth texture. <laughs> There's something really creepy with Walker's high res um, character model. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it so I can put it out again. But there's something wrong with his mouth. So if you guys see the high res texture model for Waka here, just look at his mouth. There's something wrong with it. No right here. Who you play for? The Xanarkin Abes. God damn it, Titus. What did Riku just tell you? Like, not even five minutes ago, bro. What can you say again? Uh, I meant... Forget that. Uh, I got too, uh, close to sin, and my head's all foggy-like. So, uh, I don't know where this place is. <laughs> or even where I came from. You know exactly Sin's where you came got from, to bro. You. But you're still alive. Praise be to Yevon. There's still something wrong with his face. <laughs> All right, back to practice. I'm Waka, coach and captain of the Besaid Oryx, brother. Uh, uh, oh. Okay, let's go right there. What? You hungry? Okay, back to the village. I'll get you something. Who? 
But I run faster than you, Waka. I felt like I could trust this Waka, so I just had to ask. Um, it's true Xanarkin was destroyed, right? A thousand years ago? So it's just a big pile of rubble now, hmm. isn't it? Long time ago, there were a whole lot of cities in Spira. Big cities with machina, machines to run them. People played all day and let the machina do the work. And then, well, take a look. Sin came and destroyed the machina cities. Everything and exploded. Xanarkand along with them. Yeah, that was about a thousand years ago, just like you said. If you ask me, sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand. What gets me, though, is we gotta suffer because of what some goofballs did way back when. Of course, we must always repent for our sins. That's important. It's just that it's hard to keep at it sometimes, you know? It was just as Riku said. Waka and Riku couldn't both face. be lying. Why would they? <laughs> ah, that's creepy face. <laughs> you can you see right Zanuck through his James, That was a good one, huh? Hey, I'm not saying that team never existed, yeah? <laughs> but you gotta figure, a team living in luxury like that be pretty soft, eh? I appreciated the fact that Waka was trying to cheer me up. But at that time, all I could think about was... Everything that happened to me, all this, started with Sin. Maybe if I could find Sin one more time, I could go home. For now, I'd just live life until that time came. No more worrying about where or when I was. Sure, it was hard not to think of home, but I started to feel better already. A little better. Maybe. Pretty boy alert! <laughs> okay, let's... I was looking at something in that cutscene. I'm gonna see if I can... Or, oh, damn it. Alright. There we go. You can kind of see it here. Maybe if I remember to do it during editing, I'll show you. But look at Tidus's torso. I noticed this in the original PlayStation 2 version of the game, but there is something else that bugs me about his character model. Look at his chest and look at where his pecs are. Um, if you see it during a cutscene, you can see that directly underneath his pec- his, um, his pectoral- or the- the freaking pectoral muscle. You know, the dude- the boob muscle. There we go. Right underneath the boob muscle, um, Almost directly underneath it, he has a U-shape. That's where the bottom of your ribcage is supposed to be. And there's usually a good, like, distance like this between the two. And it just looks like his ribcage is just shoved up into his torso, and it just looks really funny to me. Probably because I'm taking anatomy hey, class, and I know way. that's not how anatomy works. Um, wait, can you see it here? Uh, nope! <laughs> You can only see it during cutscenes. But yeah, Titus has no ribs, is what I'm taught is what I'm meaning here. Titus has no ribs and he has no sternum. Or at least he has a much shorter sternum than he should. Also, three, two, one, get wrecked. Whoa! Okay, he could have gotten seriously injured there, because look how high that cliff is. What's the big idea? If you look how high that cliff was, or at least how high it looked, could it just wrecked Titus because when you fall and hit water, it's like hitting- it's worse than hitting concrete. Or at least as bad as hitting concrete. Because the surface tension of the water doesn't break when you hit it that quickly with that much force, or at least it doesn't break as easily. So yeah, you just get completely wrecked. Like, boom, dead. But we do have water and some very nice, pleasant music, so it's okay, I guess. <gasps> chesticle that is floating. Floating chesticle, because that's how science works. Okay, hit a cutscene. Walk and stop being a creeper. Uh, let me go. Got a favor to ask you. You want me on your team, right? Hmm? He's known him all for two minutes, and he's already like, dude, play for us. <laughs> a major blitz tournament's coming up. All the teams in Spira will be there. It's so huge, I'm sure someone there will recognize you. Yeah, sure. Then, 
You can go back to your old team, right? I mean, that's literally what happens. It'll but... be fun. What do you say, huh? Come on, come on. As long as I don't have to play any more Blitz Bowl than that, because... <laughs> sure thing. For anybody who saw my um, final... <laughs> Our team is gonna Waka, rock I am it. trying to talk here. For anybody who saw my Final Fantasy X charity livestream about... Oh god, you're... Oh my god, nearly two years ago. I thought and Sin were the only two things that Spira and Xanarkin had or in common. one year ago-ish. I wasn't too far off, either. See... I hated Blitzball. I had to spend an entire day of the charity stream playing Blitzball. Born. I started Blitz when I was five. Five days charity the stream. At 13, 10 years ago. One day of Blitz. Ball. Ten years. And we never won a game. Well, after last year's tournament, I quit. Time seemed right. Just like, I'm done, bro. <laughs> so, after quitting, I got this new job, yeah? But every time my mind wandered. I thought about the game. Ten years without a single win will do that. Hmm. My first match last year was my big chance. But something else was on my mind. I couldn't focus. Nice excuse. Hey, no, hey. he had a pretty good excuse. <laughs> if you so knew the you story. So you win the next tournament. Go out with a bang. So, what's our goal? I don't care how we do. Long as we play our best. No, not good enough, Walker. We give it our all. I can walk away happy. No. Uh, no, 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 no. If I say what's our goal, you say victory. It's one of the few times I'm with you. When you play in a blitzball tournament, you play to win. Victory. You're serious? Damn straight, bro. I'm gonna win that tournament, even if I have to reload the game twenty times, which I won't. Because I don't think they um, fixed the Blitzball glitch in this game. Which makes it so much easier. All you have to do is score one point, be one point ahead of the competition, ah, then the one from the sea. swim behind your goal. Be on guard. There are fiends on the road today. After surviving your run-in with Sin, it would be a shame if something happened now. If you swim behind your goal after being Wait, ahead by at least one Luzu point... Luzu and Gata, Crusaders. Huh? Both teams will start spinning Cruise in circles. What? What? You forgot that too? Hey, sorry. Don't worry about it. I'll help you out. Cool. In return, come tournament time, I'll make sure we take the cup. Cool. About the Crusaders, you can ask them yourself. They got a lodge in a village. <laughs> As Walker just creeps up on me a little bit there. Okay. Be safe, Billy. Ooh, I like this Think remix. Food there? For the same we'll get you something over there later. Take a look around first. Let's see. The Crusaders Lodge is over yonder. Luzu and Kata are usually there. Mmm. All right. I love the music for this game. Over here. Huh? What's up? You do remember the prayer, right? I don't need prayers. Of course I'd never <laughs> prayed before in my life. Not that he would know that. You must have forgot or something. Here, I'll show you. He's like, the what? <laughs> That's like me. I was, I've never prayed before in my life. What's a prayer? <laughs> Even though I have like 10 candles that have been... Blessed mm. by a pastor mm -hmm. and anointed in a church. The story behind that. <laughs> eh, not bad. Okay, now go present yourself to the temple summoner. Any blitzball player would know that prayer. It was the blitzball sign for victory. And he just stares at his hands like, what? <laughs> okay, story time. So, when I was growing up, I stopped going to church at about when I was about 13 because I've 
just nothing against the religion. It just didn't speak to me. I'm not Christian. My family is, though, so I had to go. Eventually, they gave up trying to bring me because I was really bad in church. But I would still go during charity events and stuff like that at the church because I like to do charity stuff and I like to help people out. And my mother would go, so I would go. And when I went, every time they would be cleaning out like all the storage rooms and stuff and getting rid of things, they'd always have piles and piles of candles. And I would just go, I'll take them. So I've got some, so I've got a whole bunch of church candles. <laughs> and I've had them for like a decade. <laughs> and I just kept collecting more and more of them until I moved out um, after I graduated high school. It was so, yeah. standing in that place. I, I, I am a agnostic, pagan, a atheist per person thing with Christian church candles. I began to realize how different this world was from my own. It's just a little bit. A little bit. Uh, hey look, it's statue! Of a dude wearing leaves. But once you see it in color, it looks like he's wearing flower petals. Ten years have passed since Lord Brosca became High Summoner. Magic Flower Summoner! And finally, we receive a statue for our temple. Oh, what's a High Summoner? Oh, goddammit, it, Titus. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I got too close to Sin's uh, toxin. He's it was such a funny hearing myself it. make the same excuse over and over. Funny, and a little sad. Just a little the bit? The summoners are practitioners of a sacred art, sworn to protect the people of Yevon. Only a chosen few become summoners, who call forth entities of great power, the Aeons. The Aeons hear our prayers and come down to us. How can that lady with the faceplate see? The blessing of Yevon. It's right over her face. <sighs> So what he meant was that we should respect some kind of great men or something like that, I figure. Hey, there's a woman right there. They ain't all men, bro. And you're gonna learn that they definitely aren't all men pretty soon. Oh. Only sworn guardians can protect can go to the cloister of trials. It's just you wait, bro. I'm not going to every single one of those cloisters. Let's go see Waka. Waka. Sorry, man. No time for lunch yet. What? Take a nap. You look pushed. I look fine. <laughs> I mean, we have to take a nap, but, you know. You could at least go see how they are doing. We can't interfere. It's a rule. But it's been nearly... But he's a guardian. He's a special person. <laughs> but it's been nearly. I the person it's been from. Nearly a day already. Oh, I was gonna say I thought they had the same voice. Perhaps you could go look for us. People, People are, are searching, searching for him now. Thank you. Who cares whether he comes back or not? Rude. Why did I die? Fine, let him. Do you... Do you hate him so? Obviously. But if he dies, you'll never be able to tell him how much you hate him. Also, why was Tina's a brunette when he was a kid? Like, he's very, very deep brunette when you see him as a kid, but he is super blonde in the game. <laughs> I mean, originally he was designed to have black hair, funnily enough. Yeah, if you find some of Titus' original designs and artwork, he... And I think some of, like, the old um, character models and stuff from the very early, like, demos and stuff. He had straight black hair. Like, knocked his level black hair. 
But nope, he is a blondie now. Which, another thing to notice, I keep pointing out the graphical funny lulzy bits in this game, but there is another one that you should check out. So during this Let's Play, during the FMVs, pay attention to Titus's hair and his skin. Then, during the out of FMV sections, pay attention to his hair and his skin. If I remember correctly, his hair is lighter in the FMVs than it is in game, and his skin is darker in the FMVs in game than it is in game, so it switches. So his hair is lighter, and his skin is darker in the FMVs, but in the in game, his hair is darker, and his skin is lighter. It's. Is something wrong? Weird. There's someone that hasn't returned from the trial. Eh? Well, apprentice summoner, really. Huh? <laughs> the what? There's a room in there called the Cloister of Trials. Beyond is where the apprentice summoner prays. If the prayer is heard, the apprentice becomes a fully fledged summoner. Remember? Obviously not, Baka. Uh, so someone is in there somewhere, and they haven't come back out. Right, I got it. <laughs> a day's already gone by. Is it particularly dangerous in there? Sometimes, yes. Why don't you go in and help? There's already guardians in there. Besides, it's forbidden. He just hey, runs it anyway. Happens? What if the summoner dies? The precepts must be obeyed. Like I care. <laughs> like I care. <laughs> Scandalous. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. They're really bad at stopping him, though. <laughs> Okay, let's do a closer to trials. I've done this bit, god, at least 20 times in my life. I should be able to remember it. One can only hope. Sphere to go further. Destruction sphere. Glyph sphere. Besaid sphere. Just, just give me the ball. Game. Okay. I go too quickly for this game. You can. Okay. This always bugged me. You can carry. It says you can carry one sphere at a time. Only one. You have two hands. You have two hands and a multitude of pockets. Like, he's got that giant fanny pack. He just stuff spheres in there. You can at least fit one in there. So that'd be three. But no, no, you can only hold one. Now, only one sphere. You only get one even though you have two hands and a fanny pack. Video game logic. Being a while. I put that in there first. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's a destruction sphere. It's made of evil. Can I touch this yet? No. I thought I had to touch that. Touch. I touched that. Oh wait, no! I touched this one, and then I put the I put the ball into the hole, and that blows the wall. <laughs> because video game logic yet again. Oh. Okay, that's another thing that bugs me. Why can't I just switch the spheres out that are in my hand? No. Balls. Okay. Guess I'll put this guy back over here. Pick up the besaid sphere. Go put it into the other crevice. Go get the destruction sphere again. Put it into this crevice. <laughs> it's really interesting as somebody who's played this game so many times to see all of the differences in it. It kind of reminds me of... Um, not the Final Fantasy IX remaster, which I do I do have that now. 
but it reminds me of emulating Final Fantasy IX. The first time I ever emulated Final Fantasy IX and I saw all of the details that you can only get on an emulated version or a remaster, like all the details on the face and, for instance, the, t um, the two character models that all the characters have in this game are all the main ones. They have the super detailed realistic with all of, like the facial movements and emotions and the really pretty eyes, but they also have the dead fish face character models that are just have less polygons and are as less finely rendered and this remaster has made the difference between those two really really stark because I almost never noticed that during um while playing the PlayStation 2 version of the game yet here I notice every single time it switches and every single time you have one character that has a super detailed model and the other ones are just derp face <laughs> Hi, Walker. What's gotten into you? Hey, it's okay. Only summoners, apprentice summoners, and their guardians can enter here. I just make him a guardian. There you go. It's a tradition. Very important. <laughs> I just broke that tradition. So what about you? Me? I'm a guardian. A guardian? Walker seems very not angry for what Tidus has apparently just done. He's apparently just done something that is extremely that? forbidden. Someone has gone on a pilgrimage to pray at every temple in spirit. And Marcus is like, never, it's okay. Guardians protect them. The Guardian's in there now. One of them's got a sure fuse. And who knows what the <laughs> other's thinking. Well, now that we've come this far, might as well go all the way. I got a trophy! I don't care. What are you doing here? Didn't think we'd be able to handle it. Also, why is Lulu not no, freaking out the second she saw uh, somebody else? It's just... See, I told you she gets mad easy. <laughs> is the summoner alright? Who... Are you? <laughs> Who are you instead of um? <laughs> First thing I would have done is, what are you doing here? It's forbidden. Look how they all turn to look at the door when nothing has happened yet. It's just opening now, but they all turn to look at the door before she got there, before she started to open the door. I really need to record some videos of this in the co in my um, cosplay of Yuna, don't I? It's kind of like a thing that I should do. At least the top half. I don't have to put on the. I could just wear pants with it because you guys can't see my bottom half. You can only see me up to like here. So. <laughs> it's like, ooh, pretty girl. She prayed so hard that she was sweating. A summoner. Nice lip sync there, game. She was praying so hard that she's just buckets of sweat. How do you pray so hard that you have buckets of sweat? <laughs> Why am I questioning a 15 year old? Man, was I game? surprised. And here I was thinking summoners were all old geezers. Did you not even look at the statues around you, bro? They're not all old men. I mean, that's a woman, and I mean, you can only see her bottom half of her face, but she doesn't look that old. <sighs> oh wait, now it's time for one of the best lines of the entire game. Hey, over here! It'll be in the cutscene after this, though. We still got one cutscene to go. What? Ah! Uh, uh, ow! What guy is so rude? Until you see this. He's such a I can't jerk. see anything. Can't see anything because you're strangling me. Okay. It's always really fun to point out the differences in the characters' outfits from the FMVs to the endgame, because Yuna's outfit changes a lot 
between the FMV and the in-game. With a lot of hair. Wait a minute. Oh, for a second there looked like the giant ponytail thing was actually attached on its back and not its head. <laughs> Which would have been really weird. Hi, I'ma pet you now. Giant Aeon of unimaginable power. Let's just just pat that. Like a chicken. Giant chicken. I had never seen anything like it in my life. Sure, it was a little scary, but still. As scary I could as that feel other dude's cod piece? A strange kind of gentleness coming from it. What? The outfits in this game are so weird. I mean, not so much for the main cast, but for the rest of them. There is a dude standing directly behind Waka who is wearing a cod piece. Just straight up cod I remember, piece. that night, we talked for the first time. I didn't know it then, but after that night, everything changed. For everyone. For me. Stupid bangs. Let me introduce you to the team. This guy here wants into the tournament so bad, I let him on the team. Yeah, that's not how it happened, Walker. His memory's a little fuzzy, so don't mind him if he says anything odd. Come on, say hi. He's so pushy. It's like, come on, say hi. Uh, hi, guys. Hi. So what's our goal? To do our best! Nope, wrong. Nope, we got a new goal now. Our new goal is victory. To win every match, defeat every opposing team, to bring the Crystal Cup back to our island. That's all we need to do to win. Easy, huh? Yeah, sure, bro. Victory! 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 And beeline for the pretty girl. Wait for it. You heathen! Wait for it. Stay away from the summoner! <laughs> Stay away <laughs> from the summoner! <laughs> the best line in this game. Be careful. But it was really my fault to begin with. Oh. 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 I'm Yuna. Thank you so much for your help earlier. Huh? He didn't do anything. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't that... Wasn't I not supposed to... Guess I kind of overreacted. Oh, no. I was overconfident. Um, or the faith literally kept you there until she just got there. That's amazing. Uh, really? I just Did lunges for his hand. Come high, Summoner? You, Yuna, Yuna, please. Lady Yuna, come play with me some more. Just needs him already lunging for him. So, tomorrow then. Tomorrow? We're going on the same boat, aren't we? Oh, really? We can talk more. Huh. You can tell me all about Xanarkand. <laughs> Who told you about Xanarkand? She's cute, yeah? Like, you ought to have that, don't you, boy? I'm gonna get my shotgun. <laughs> don't get no ideas. No promises there, big guy. Hey, but what if she, like, comes on to me? Really? That's not going to happen. If you get tired, let me know. I had a bed made for you. <laughs> I, lo I 
love Waka so much more now. <laughs> just so much more now. Ready for bed. No, not yet, because we have something really, really, we'll really it. important to do. We'll leave early tomorrow. It's okay. We got something really important to do. Stay away from the summoner! <laughs> Stay away from the summoner! <laughs> Stay away from the summoner! <laughs> Anybody who watched my original Final Fantasy X charity live stream where I had Molly and Mo co commentating with Molly sometimes and Wade would just crash the live stream. Y'all know why that's funny, because the way Wade says bed. stay away from the summoner is one of the most hilarious things I've ever heard. Good. Stay Sleep away tight. from the summoner. <sighs> Tetis, you left a candle on. That's bad. You gotta burn the hut down. And then you'll burn the village down. And then you'll burn the forest down. And everybody will be angry because you just destroyed their entire livelihood and all of their houses. And it's all because you left a candle on. Yuna! Where's, Where's that, that boat? boat? Everyone, Everyone will, will find, find us if it doesn't, doesn't come, come soon. soon. What? You, you really, really sure, sure this, this is okay? okay? Would you take me to Xanarkand? Hey! <laughs> he just said, you said go with me. Oh, hey, I, uh... It's still jogging in place. I thought Waka told you not to get any ideas. He did? Uh... Yeah, yeah so, you're so you're coming, coming with, me. with me. Hey, stop dreaming! Check, please. You with a woman? You can't even catch a ball! Oh, what's the matter? Gonna cry again? Cry, cry. That's the only thing you're good for. I hate you. You know, people say a lot of stuff about, huh? Oh, say? Jack really loved him, you know, tried to get his mom to go hang out with him. him. No, Jack is still a jerk father. I hate you! <laughs> He's an absolute jerk father. Huh? That's, That's the spirit. spirit. You, you can, can do, do it. it. You can do it? Tell her about what you hate him. Messed up I family dynamics you. for the win. He's dead, okay? Dead. He does look a lot like Chapu. I was surprised, too, the first time I saw him. But no matter what he looks like, he isn't Chapu. You shouldn't have brought him here in the first place. Yeah, but he needed our help. Excuses again? Waka has a yeah, point here, though. That's it. No more. Enough, Waka. <laughs> Angrily stomps away. How can she walk with all of those belts? Also, the bottom of that skirt probably gets really, really dirty. It's just dragging along all the floors and rocks all the time. She probably has a hell of a time trying to keep it clean. Ugh. Scary. So, who's Chapu? My little brother, Chapu. He looked like you. He's dead? Except less blonde. You he see him in the, the sequel. Crusaders when they fought Sin last year. He didn't make it. I first heard on the day of the tournament. Oh, so that's why. I became a guardian to fight sin, yeah? Revenge, then? That was the idea. <laughs> I'm more worried about a stupid game now than avenging my brother. Well, after the next tournament, I'll be a guardian full time. I know it kind of looks like I'm using you. But I'm not. Yes, Don't worry. yes you are, Walker. <laughs> I, I owe you a lot. You really help me out, you know? What I mean is... Thanks, Walker. Are you gonna actually put that candle out or are you going to just... <laughs> it's right next Stop. to a whole bunch You're of fabric. You're embarrassing me. You are going to set that hut on fire. It is literally right next to a bunch of fabric and I don't see a glass jar or anything around it. Everybody dies. 
set, set the village on fire. And with that, that is going to be it for this video, you guys. <laughs> I need to make sure that it recorded properly because I have a sneaky suspicion my microphone's not working for some reason. But if it did, if it, everything's fine, then everything's fine. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Final Fantasy X Remaster. And I'll see you all in the next video.